Remy G from the Lugheads, back at it with Say the Spire. I'm working on Ascension 2 with the Ironclad, and I just got to the third act. And so far, things have been going really well. Initially, I was a little jaded, because I kept my Burning Blood, and I can't remember what exactly I did, but I ended up getting a Regal Pillow early, so rest sites were very helpful, especially since this is, and normal enemies are more deadly. Um, it does seem that normal enemies do attack more often and the paths are longer so you're going to encounter fights more often. Um, this is where I got a little jaded because I ended up getting corruption and I got the bottle tornado and that was the only power in my hand. The bottle tornado makes you have one of the powers in your hands at the start of combat. I could have refused the relic but I figured why the fuck not and then I ended up getting the dead branch. And the reason why that made me jaded is because I have tried an exhaust build in the past and there is uh, a really unfortunate side effect where if you play Corruption and you use up all of your skills, unless you have attack cards that exhaust, you are basically stuck with a deck full of attack cards, you can no longer gain block and you could very easily die. Um, I've been playing much more carefully since I got that combo and I am using the Corruption but only after I've got something like Peen Fire or enough attacks that also give uh, some exhaust. Uh, Singing Bowl I've been using to get a little bit of extra health, which is why I'm up to 99. I used the Orrery to get some more exhaust cards. Um, I have a random power card that's added at the start of combat that costs zero, and sometimes that's been helpful. A lot of the times, using Corruption, I will have energy left over if I don't bother using attacks. Uh, upgraded two random skills, started each combat with 10 block, and increased my max HP and got a free heal when I did that. So I still have a lot of my strikes, a lot of my defend, my bash. Um, oh yeah, that's what I did. I transformed a strike and... or no, I didn't. No, I uh, chose a random card and it gave me dual wield in exchange for losing some health. And then yeah, I got the corruption and I tried to remove it, but once you've chosen it to be the card that comes up uh, as the bottle tornado power, you cannot remove it at the store, which I was hoping to be able to do, but I'm stuck with it. So most of the things in my hand exhaust or give me the opportunity to exhaust other cards, and obviously I have barricade, just in case I do run out of skills, if I can at least keep this going long enough, especially with, um, not Dark Embrace, where's the card? It's another power. Maybe I don't have it, and maybe I just keep getting it from uh, exhausting. But uh, whenever you exhaust cards, you get block. And if I can keep that going for quite a while, I can easily get up to you know 300, 400 block uh, at the start of combat or very early in combat, and keep the fight going. I'm not going to use the Velvet Choker, obviously, because I play a lot more than six cards per turn, and I don't necessarily want the Runic Pyramid, so I'm just gonna question mark card. And beginning Act 3, which thankfully is the Awakened one, it's not the Timekeeper, which would have ruined me. And this is only the third time that I have managed to make it to Act 3 in uh, Ascension 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Corruption out just so that this goes free. I don't think I'll be able to do too much at the start of this, but. The longer this fight goes on, the sillier it gets. So I keep getting burning packs. Blah, 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 blah. And it just keeps cycling like crazy. Uh, let's actually move that out of the way. This will exhaust. It'll get a little dizzying watching me cycle through all these things, I promise you. Because I'm just looking to see if it exhausts and if it's free and what can I do. And then once I get my barricade, which takes a while because of all the cards I generate, uh, once I get that going, I'm pretty much solid. Feel no pain, that's the card I was talking about. So every time a card is exhausted, now I gain a uh, block. Takes a few turns to get this really getting silly, but if you get something like Fiend Fire in your hand, it's absolutely hilarious. There's a copy of Barricade, it's not my copy, but I'll take it. And 
now I get to keep that 56 block. And he takes his little bit. So whenever a card is exhausted, I now draw a card. That is waste, but it's okay. Intimidate. Right, exhaust. There's my copy of Barricade. Dual wield. Copies of Anger, why not? They're good fodder for exhausting later on. Havoc. This is all card. That exhaust. That exhaust. That exhaust. And it also makes him do damage when he attacks me. And now I have a copy of Fiendfire, which is perfect. So even if I were to run out of skills, if, you know, if for any reason that fight lasted any longer, I would be able to exhaust everything. I don't yet have a copy to keep on my own outside of a fight, but one day hopefully I'll get it. And as usual in Act 3, there's no reason for me to be greedy. Exhaust one card. Shovel two wounds. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile could be fun, because I do get pretty large draw piles. Uh, I think I'll just take Burning Pact. Oop, didn't even click that. Alright. So, there has just been an update in the middle of me playing today, and this Exploder now has been changed, so instead of just exploding when he dies, uh, his explosion damage will buff and do more, so now he does 30 damage, and he will explode in 3 turns, guaranteed. So, really have to uh, play carefully and try to prepare as fast as you can, but then I have the ability that I just really fucked up my worth. Uh, I believe now, though, if you kill him before he explodes, he'll be fine. Let's find out. Let's see if I can do 18 damage. Yeah, I should be able to. Especially now that I've got back on. Some flame, just a bunch of anger. So yeah, if you kill him, then he doesn't explode. That works for me. And all of these dazed cards that this uh, repulsor is giving me work to my advantage. Because those exhaust. So I don't mind having them in my hand. I will happily discard them or exhaust them as I see fit. There's a barricade. Mine, but that's okay. Free and trench. Oh, rampage. Another rampage. And at this point, it doesn't matter if he has block or if he has thorns. I'm doing plenty of damage, and he almost died from that. I do one damage for every attack that I play each turn. Um, I guess I'll make copies of that. Have to. There we go. Feel no pain. Get more block every time the card's exhausted. Never hurts when you're kind of running a proto uh, barricade build. Uh, what do we want to upgrade? Do we want to upgrade anything? Draw a card whenever. Yep. Whenever something's exhausted, and that costs one energy. Get it out sooner in the fight. Okay. Like this. Hey, demon form for free. I will happily take that. Dual wield. I make copies of that carnage. I can make a lot of copies of that carnage. Those will all exhaust at the end of the turn because I didn't play them. And those will generate plenty of new cards. Look at that. Oh man, my hand was full before the turn even started. Uh, exhaust all non-attack cards and deal 13 damage. It's not damage for everything. You know what? Let's play this flame first. Um, yeah. Now do that. That'll free up some space. And generate new cards. Didn't look like it generated anything good though, so I will take that. I probably should have taken the barricade to the top of the drop line instead. I don't have that out yet. Oh well. Feel no pain. Ooh, this will be fun. Impervious. 
second when we cross all those. So I'll also get energy because one of those was when it gets exhausted. It does damage. And now I have a full hand and fiend fire, so 10 damage for every card that gets exhausted right now. Plus, I will draw additional cards for every card that was exhausted and generate new cards for every card that was exhausted. So this is going to take a little while to cycle through. <laughs> and I'm up to 145 block already. Oh my god. Exhaust builds are so silly. And I didn't even have barricade. Now I do. Infernal Blade, why not? Second land. More funeral pain, sea fire, spot bloodletting. Can't do clash, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've got skills. And powers, actually. Yeah, that's the only power, so after that, then I can play Clash. <laughs> so what is the Feel No Pain? Whenever a card is exhausted, I'm gaining 10 block. Lose 1 HP, deal 4 damage. Block is not removed. At the end of your turn, each attack played, deal 1 damage. So many buffs, and I'm getting constant strength from Demon Form that was free. Oh boy, this is fun. Um, and I've got 27 cards in my discard. And what do I get now? Another Clash, my Demon Form's back, Anger's back. Can't play that though. It's... That's fine. I've got 55 block, you can't do anything. Second land, why not? I think we're exhaust. We can move the exhaust card. Why not? And, and fight you. Uh, none of those exhausts. Those will just cloud up my uh, deck. Alright. So, feel no pain for free. Good start. And toss out the magic entrance, which is always a wonderful little start. Double up on that block, and that carnage will exhaust, give me a card as well. I actually have three strength potions right now, too. It's a little silly. Dark Embrace. Let's toss that guy out. Uh, there's another carnage that's gonna exhaust, and out of turn. I don't know, this Exploder might actually get to pop himself. I could make the effort to kill him. I suppose. But now that I've got Barricade, I don't really need to. I'm seeing red. That's nice. Although... I wonder... I could make multiple copies of Feed. That would be nice. Make more copies of feed, because feed exhausts. Mm. Okay, so if I do that, then I can eat him. There we go. Battle trains. Do true for it. There's another carnage. Put on top of draw pile. Let's put battle trains on top of draw pile. Then. So far, this is the most success I've had with an exhaust build. It would be really nice, though, if I could get um, a Fiend Fire, even though it exhausts itself. But I do have all these copies of Feed, so... If I were to attack somebody, Let's see how much is heavy blade doing? 14 damage. That brings you down low enough that I can eat you. May as well use these opportunities. And actually, I'm pretty sure exhausting cards bypasses the um, card limit because whenever you play a card that prevents you from drawing more cards for the rest of the turn. Exhausted cards are immediately added from a relic as opposed to being drawn. Which 
is a fun little workaround. At this point, kind of tapped out. I'm sure there are more skills in my deck, so it's just waiting for my attacks that uh, exhaust to come around. Ooh, there we go. That's something. Oh, it's ever so old. No, I don't have the energy for it now, though. All those strength potions, and I'll hold on to them. And the light could be fun. I think I already have a copy of them. All. That's nice too. So whenever I get below 50 health, I'll have more strength. It's been quite a while since I have been below 50 health. Man, a free corruption. Well, there we go. Now I don't have to waste the two energy. And copy of feed. Hmm. Gain two energy. And there's barricade. That out of the way. Let's just exhaust another copy of corruption. Mm, two copies of havoc. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. Can I actually get someone down low enough? to use one of these feeds correctly. Well, I could just fiend fire and outright kill someone, that's for sure. 13 damage. I have 2 energy, so I'll do 10 damage. And, uh, I don't think it's going to happen, because I would need to get someone much lower. Unless I used... Nah, even if I used all my strength potions, it wouldn't be enough to eat them. Oh, well. It'll come back around. There's no rush. That's literally the first turn. I already have barricade up. No use in wasting it. Let's get the feel no pains going. Just to really get this uh, exhaustion building up. Let's exhaust. Barricade or. Actually, let's exhaust you. Because you give me energy for being exhausted. Oh, not that it matters too much. Another bum turn. We've got a little bit of fun going. Burning Pact. Uh, let's get rid of a strike. And Dark Embrace. Exhausted cards. Now also give me cards. Double the block. Spot weakness. True grit. Shrug it off. In play. Ooh, a Reaper. Let's get some health even though I don't need it. And shrug it off. Havoc? Sure, why not? You're low enough to eat now. True grit. Now uh, let's make copies of Reaper. Why not? Defend, Rage, Warcry. Anything else? Uh, put on top of Draw Pile, let's put a range there. Seeing Red gave me some new energy. 26. Played against you. And I think that is tap on. Yep. But I have 345 block and 40 cards exhausted at this point. Alright, let's go ahead and double that to 656 block. Because reasons. And let's play some of these hangers just to get them out of the way. I don't have a copy of Feed on hand, but I may be able to get one to drop. Well, I got Feed Fire, and yeah, I think they have a copy of Feed. They have 22 health. That'll bring you low enough to eat. Voila. So I'm up to 110 health. Disarm, exhaust, and I'll take you. I probably could risk going for Elites. Um. But I'm not really super confident. Let's make copies of Barricade. I probably should have made copies of Inflame because Barricade is kind of useless. Once you've got one out, you're good. But I don't think when I play this game I just have fun. Feel no pain. Trigger it. Let's get some trench to double that out. There's Barricade. 
Defend, Intimidate, Havoc, Reaper, Armament, True Grit. It's not even keeping up with me. Pommel. Nope. What I got upgrade? Let's upgrade you. True Grit, Rage, Anger. Oh, nope. Gotta exhaust somebody. Factors, Anger, Rage, Four Cry, Havoc, Ghost Armor. Nope. Card on top. Let's put body. No. Actually, let's keep body slam. Cause that's gonna be funny to kill uh, the spirit guardian in one hit. Actually, let's do that now. Bam. Ghostly armor. Havoc. Defend. Oh, I gotta exhaust but Strike. Defend. Battle trance. Battle. Uh, defend. Sea red. Yeah, so this is definitely working, so even though I played that Battle Trance, I should be able to get more cards because this is exhausting and generating new cards. It doesn't count. Alright, let's emulate this and that's going to be done because I'm too far. Cool wheel with my copy of anger. Double my block because reasons. Fire so, ah, body slam again. Who wants to take 708 damage? <laughs> oh god, exhaust builds. Why do you exist? Uh, Alright. That was fun. Could make a permanent copy of Sever Soul or Body Slam. I think Sever Soul would be good. All right, let's just rest. I don't need to upgrade anything in my deck. All shapes, really? I'm just gonna keep coming across shapes forever. Armaments. Let's upgrade you. More block. Burning thing. Let's get rid of you. Havoc. Uh, you're the only one that wants to attack, so let's take some strength from you. I still got one energy. Nothing else? Alright. Two exploders could potentially deal 60 damage if you don't kill them. So, that means I need to get my barricade out. And I need. There's Dark Embrace. Alright. So now I can start exhausting stuff to build about strength. Or not strength, but uh, block. Now let's make copies of Pummel, because Pummel exhausts itself. Blood for blood. I'll get rid of him. That was a weird sound effect. Okay. It's like if you position your mouse just right, the card freaks out. <laughs> uh, I don't have any blocks, so using a trench right now would be a waste, so I'm gonna hold on to that guy. Alright, let's get those defense out. Intimidate. Dual wheel. Play one where I make copies of. Uh, fire breathing? That could be fun. Burning packs. Three. Another free block. Play. Use this anger on you. I definitely want to work on getting rid of you. I can zoom a card. My mini. Many exhausted cards. Go ahead and use that. Alright, so use the there's some feel no pains. And that should be good for now. Because nobody's attacking. There's another feel no pain. He just died. I don't even know what just happened there. <laughs> Something happened. 
I think uh, maybe a Havoc played and the Havoc um, played something that did two attacks. Not sure what. Uh, well, I'll need to do 26 to kill you. Uh, well, if I had the energy, that would do it. That should do it. Too. There we go. I was getting bored with that fight. I wanted it to end. Alright, let's just take some max HP. We're almost at the boss. Uh, receive madness, lose 14, become cursed. You know what? A curse that doesn't do anything aside from take up space is okay with me. If I could, I would even upgrade it just for the hell of it. Uh, let's upgrade dramatic entrance. Why not? Alright. Time to face the awakened one with a very silly, somehow functional build. Let's hope I don't run out of skills. I can continue to do this. Well, Reckless Charge isn't a great thing. I'm going to drink all my potions right now, actually. I am not going to use those Reckless Charges because I do not want to be vulnerable and let them do more damage when I don't have much luck. I need to focus on getting rid of these guys. Exhaust all non-attack cards. Well, I'm eventually, I'm going to want to anyway. Fiend Fire could be nice. Well, let's make some copies of the card first. Now we feed fire does more. Alright. So that should definitely wipe out one of those guys. Perfect. Step of soul, double tap, berserk. Granted, he will get stronger every time I play a power. Once I get um, barricade going, it won't matter too much. Which, I have a barricade now, but I don't have energy to use. Shockwave. Oh, there's another fiend fire. Intimidate. Brutality. Why not? Exhume. Why not? Let's get dramatic entrance back because that's more. Hey, and impervious. I'm not gonna use that reckless charge still. Well, maybe. 28 damage. I have 45 block. Fine. I do not have a lizard tail. Finally, this is the first time that I have faced an Act Three boss without a lizard tail and potentially could win. So that'll be um, interesting. What do I want to exhaust? Let's exhaust a strike. Strikes are useless. Let's exhaust you too. Havoc. Let's exhaust you. Pretty much anything that takes energy aside from powers I'm exhausting because who gives a shit? I do have feed, but I don't get an achievement for eating him. It's a pity I don't have Don on Donu and Decca. There's an impervious. Doubling my strength. I already have 10 strength, so yeah, why not? I'm up to 72, so let's double my uh, block there. Second wind. Exhaust all non current. Yeah, let's do it. There's only one anyway, so. Let's also weaken you further. Yeah, anyway. Copy of Anger. Anger's doing 24 damage each already. Just from all that strength. Oh, this poor guy. I just got my barricade. Cool wheels. Uh, copies of Feel No Pain. Or was that exhaust? That was exhaust. Oops. I did not pay attention. What's new, right? Left the blood of stream. Free energy. There's another feel no pain. I wish I had more energy though. He is vulnerable. If I had just one more energy, I can use that fiend fire. Um, It'll stay in my hand, at, or my deck at the very least, so I may get it back soon. There's a dark impact. Or dark embrace. Dark impact. Uh, right. Let's get rid of this guy. Metallicized Brutality Juggernaut. Let's play Metallicized. Alright, so I actually can't attack him because I have to wait for him to wake up now. Well, that sucks. Come on. 
Wakey, wakey. That's right, get shiny. Hey, look what I've got. Your best friend, Fiendfire. Uh, is there any way I could get more cards? Let's draw two cards. Mm, Alright. Let's see what that does. So that's 33 damage for every card exhausted. Oh, I almost killed him. Oh, that would have been hilarious. That anger actually is almost enough to kill him. Uh, choose a card to upgrade. Let's upgrade the anger. Reckless charge. And anger. Poor guy. And that's the end of Ascension 2 with a very successful, for the first time, Dead Branch exhaustion build. Woo! How many points? 827 points. I have now gotten over the 5,000 point, and the community at large is almost up to 3 billion damage to the Spire. That is fantastic. I have unlocked Ascension Mode 3. Let's see what that's going to do to me. Yeah, yeah, credits. whoop de doo So, Ascension 3. Elites are deadlier. Oh boy. That'll be uh, quite the challenge. And like I said, this is locked to each character, so I still am on Ascension 2 for the silent. Uh, every, I want to say like five times I lose, I change up characters just to keep it a little fresh. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is becoming one of my favorite games ever, and for it to still be in beta, and I'm pretty sure I've logged in over 200 hours at the least, I'm loving it. It's well worth the money. Signing off.